Hey Kotaku, we just received a brand new console and it is called the Wii U. So as you can see here, I'm holding this shiny, glossy black Wii U in my hands. And unlike Mr. Satoru Iwata, who showed off the unboxing video that you might have seen us link to earlier, I just wanted to give you a more in-depth kind of hands-on impression sort of thing. So as you can see, this is the hardware. You should be able to see that by now it has a lot of fingerprints. And no, we did not all decide to take turns touching this thing. This is all just for me. This thing, this, this console picks up fingerprints really easily, uh, as you can see there. Uh, it f as for the feel, it feels a little bit heavier than the Wii. And we actually have a Wii right here to compare the two. Um, it is a little bit longer than the Wii, as you can see there. It's about the same width, dimensional-wise. Uh, it's not nearly as big as an Xbox or PlayStation. Same width. Same sort of uh, uh, look and feel, but there are a few big differences on the Wii U. So let me just show you a couple of cool things. So this is the front, and then you have this flap that opens up, and then you have two USB ports and an SD card slot. Um, over here, it looks like you put your discs in there. If you still use discs, if you're one of those plebeians who still doesn't buy games online, power button, eject button. Um, this side has absolutely nothing. This side has the fan. Uh, looks like we have a couple more USB ports. So I guess that is uh, four USB ports total, which is kind of neat. It's a solid number. Uh, we have an HDMI port for this HDMI cable. Nintendo has an HDMI cable. Uh, it's, it's almost hard to believe in 2012, but, but it's here. Uh, we have AC adapter for our, our power brick, and it is a power brick. This thing is like huge. This might even be bigger than the Xbox's power brick. So that one will be sitting in front of your TV. And it's uh, it's similar jack to what we had on the Wii. Although it doesn't fit in, we tried that before. And then, uh, let's see, we have the jack for the sensor bar, which looks exactly like the Wii sensor bar. It's pretty much the same thing, so it has those same slots for, for putting the cable under, hiding the cable under. Uh, it even says Wii sensor bar right in there. So that is that, and then it comes with a USB uh, cable. This one, I believe this is for the deluxe only, but it comes with a stand. And this is not like a normal stand. This is not like the Wii stand, which is one of those pieces of junk that like came apart all the time. This is actually, these are actually really cool. They're like little feet, as our video editor Chris described them. And what you do is you can see they have these little slots here and you put them in these things and they fit quite nicely. The rubber kind of grips onto the base and the jack goes into the slot. You can kind of lay it down there vertically and it looks pretty cool. Now let's move on to the magical controller, the controller that Nintendo likes to talk so much about all the time. The, the, the big selling point of this system is this gamepad controller. You can see the screen, which I'm sure you've seen before. Uh, it's a seven inch diagonal screen. Uh, it has the joysticks, buttons, directional pads, start, select, TV controller for the Nintendo TV that they are fond of showing off, a uh, little camera thing. Down here, you can see some of the buttons, the, the Zs and the Ls and the Rs and all that jazz. Um, you can see the place for the stylus. Do, 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 do. In case you want to send nasty messages to your friends, uh, headphone jack, AC adapter, volume slider. And let's see here. Nothing too interesting on the back. You can remove a battery. Looks like you can unscrew here, take off the batteries. Looks like there's a sync button for syncing it with your Wii U. And I brought my iPad so we can kind of compare the screen since that's what everyone likes to do. And as you can see, the iPad screen is significantly bigger than the Wii U controller screen, although the iPad does not have buttons or controls, so I guess this thing wins. 
Um, as for the weight, it actually feels lighter than it felt at preview events when it was kind of jacked to a thing and, and you couldn't get to touch it or anything. You can get to rip it off or really feel how the weight is. It actually seems like it's, it's, it's lighter than you think it would be when you look at a tablet like this. And it seems like it'll fit nicely. If you're looking at the screen, it seems like it could fit nicely in your lap. It doesn't seem too uncomfortable to hold up for a large period of time. Uh, I can show you a couple stands. This is the normal stand that comes with the Deluxe Edition, uh, in case you don't feel like holding it in your lap. And this is the charging cradle. Charging. So you plug it in to make sure it works, and it works. Next controller, which comes separately, is the uh, Wii Controller Pro, which kind of looks like an Xbox controller with Nintendo button names. The big difference between this and an Xbox controller, of course, is that this thing has two controllers on the top, which is very strange and is going to take some getting used to because my right thumb automatically wants to go to here since I'm so used to using an Xbox controller. But yeah, it's pretty comfortable, it's pretty sleek, pretty light. Uh, this also seems to be one of those charging babies where you charge it into the USB port on your Wii U. Uh, power button, home button, all that jazz. So this is that. It's uh, it's actually one of the more comfortable controllers that I've used. It's it's surprisingly comfortable as long as you can get used to using two uh, directional joysticks, joysticks, directional joysticks, joysticks on the top. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is all the games that they sent us. So we got some Sing Party action. Just a uh, Ninja Gaiden 3, which I guess you might have played already. Just Dance 4, which you also might have played already. Nintendo Land, which does not come in a sleeve, it comes in a box. I know a lot of people have been wondering about that, and this came in the box with the Wii U Deluxe uh, package and New Super Mario Brothers U. So yeah, that is, those are the Wii U games, that is the Wii U, and let's just take one look, one more look at the Wii U hardware, which is really just a, a, a pretty thing, other than all the fingerprints. I'm sure there will be some sort of crazy fingerprint removers or, or special cases that protect your, your Wii U from dirty, dirty fingers in the near future. But yeah, this is the Wii U. It is out on November 18th, a week from this Sunday, and it will cost $300 for the basic edition and $350 for this deluxe black package. All right, thanks a lot, Kotaku.